Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bold CNC Works, this is Nugent and today we are going to be making a retirement gift. I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe to the channel as I'll be putting out videos every Monday and Friday. Let's start with a new document. Go with the diameter, go out with the circle first. Let's just turn the output on. The diameter of our circle will be 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. So let's just move this down. Then I like to make a crosshair for myself so that I know exactly where to put the hole for the clock in it. So I will be making this 2 millimeters by 7 millimeters and then we're going to do a control T to duplicate it and rotate that 90 degrees. I'm going to go back to the selector tool, select both of them. If we click on a line this bullseye, it will align both of the both of the figures or vectors uh, to the center of them, to the middle. So if you have more than one, more than two selected, it will do precisely the same. So let's do this, and then we will group it. We will take this to the center of the circle. You will see it snaps directly to the center of the circle. Now this one I want to put on the blue layer. I will show you later on why I'm putting that on the blue layer. Then we are going to put in text. Okay, as I said, this is for retirement. We're going to be typing who cares and then I'm retired. Then we just put in the numbers one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then finally twelve. I think we put these two together by mistake. Let's just put that on four. Now, let's go back to the selector tool. Let's put this on the black layer. Now, let's just reposition this, these characters, because that's what's going to be visible on our clock. Now you will see, let's just jumble them up a bit, move this one down, this one to the bottom. See, when you retire, you don't care about time anymore because you have all the time in the world. Let's move this one over there. Let's move this one within the lines. This one as well. Let's move that three. See, if you double click, it goes back to the text tool. And that's basically it. Now you are done with your, with your um, design work. Let's just go over here. We want to put the red layer on a line. The blue one we want to put to fill and the black one as well. Now what we need to do is we need to select all of these. And because we are going to be engraving the back of a mirror, we need to flip this around. We need to flip this horizontally or mirror it horizontally. Let's click that and let's reposition this and then let's move all of these. Let's select all of them. Only my cursor would work with me. 
then we model all of them, we move them to the left, which will be the right hand side. See, it just snaps back. Now, whenever you are engraving a new material or cutting a new material, you need to get the the speed at which you need to do it and also the percentage of power that you need to do it. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video linked right up here that you can go and check out on how I explain how to do that. I will move this layer straight to the top. It will give you your percentages, what will work best for you. The reason I'm putting a circle around this, not only it helps with the design work, but on my spoil board, I engrave that circle and then when it comes to placing my, um, my round mirror, it just becomes easier. Then alignment is not an issue, so it aligns perfectly every single time. I will show you a couple, of, I will show you a photo of how it looks when it's done, but thank you very much for listening to me. Enjoy this sped up video of the engraving process and I hope to see you again next Thank you.